Why did the Reserve Bank of India or RBI decide to clamp down on Paytem, one of the country's most popular payment solutions providers? This is a question that has been making waves in the Indian financial sector recently. To address this, we need to travel back in time and look at the events leading up to this critical decision. The story begins in March of 2022 when the RBI barred Paytem Payments Bank from onboarding new customers. This was the first hint of a brewing storm. However, the full force of the RBI's actions was felt on January 31st, 2024, when it imposed major business restrictions on Paytem Payments Bank. These restrictions included accepting fresh deposits and conducting credit transactions after February 29th. The reasons behind these actions A complete disregard by the company for regulatory standards and compliance requirements. This raised serious concerns about the promoters and the group's commitment to transparency. The RBI's aim was to protect the financial system and prevent a payment bank, which is a RBI-regulated entity dealing with public money from being run in a manner detrimental to the interest of its depositors, customers and other genuine stakeholders. The regulator unearthed major irregularities in Know Your Customer or KYC processes which exposed customers, depositors and wallet holders to serious risk. These included the absence of KYC for a very large number of customers, PAN validation failures in countless accounts, and a single PAN used for multiple customers. During its probe, the RBI discovered that in thousands of cases, the same PAN was linked to more than a hundred customers, and in some cases, to more than a thousand customers. This led to transactions worth crores of rupees much beyond regulatory limits in minimum KYC prepaid instruments and raised money laundering concerns. Moreover, the regulator found an unusually high number of dormant accounts, which were prone to be used as mule accounts. In numerous cases, the accounts and wallets had been frozen by various law enforcement authorities across the country, as such accounts were used for committing digital frauds. In summary, the RBI's clampdown on Paytem was a result of the company's disregard for regulatory standards and compliance requirements, major irregularities in KYC processes, and concerns about money laundering. This proactive measure by the RBI serves as a reminder to all financial institutions about the importance of compliance, transparency, and prioritizing the interests of their customers.